first things first, look who's here. Vincent Goodwill. What up, Vinny? Good morning. Good to see you, brother. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Let's talk some basketball. Happy belated birthday, Jenna. Thank you so you much. Go. So it was on Wednesday. So I, I woke up that morning. I was like, oh, I feel pretty good. You know, you know I'll tell you in a commercial break. This, this is not the time. You're the place. Vince, the NBA's newest feud. You did that, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you, so Vinny. The newest feud between James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Unconventional rivals in a war of words, all stemming from the All-Star draft when Giannis said he wanted, quote, somebody that's going to pass the ball. In other words, not Harden. Well, Harden sat down with Rachel Nichols, and she asked him what he thought of Giannis's comment. Take a listen. Well, I don't see what the joke is. But I don't even, I, I didn't even see it. You know, I, don't, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. Uh, I just know none of them can mess with me. <laughs> you know, when it's, when it's all said and done, um, you know, they'll appreciate it more. You know, but I wish I could just run, run and with seven feet and run and just dunk. Like that takes no skill at all. <laughs> I got to actually learn how to play basketball and how to have skill, you know. I'll take that any day. Well, Giannis didn't take that as a joke or a slight or anything. What would you make of what Giannis, I mean, uh, Harden, what would you make of what Harden had to say? Well, I don't blame him for finally clapping back. He's been, James Harden's been the most disrespected all-time great of his era. He is the most disrespected uh, player night in, night out by guys on TNT, by guys on this network, by guys on other networks every day. The guy averaged 36 last year, averaged 35 this year, has won, a, won an assist title, and he's called a ball hog. He's done it with great players around him, without great players around him, but because he's never won a championship, people always take shots at him. So I don't blame him for clapping back, but his, his take is terrible. It's just an erroneous, awful take. We have had dozens. Dozens, more than 100 seven-footers play in the NBA over the last 30 years. More than 250 if you go back for the history of the league. None of them have been able to do what Giannis can do. Giannis does not have an absurdly high vertical leap about league average. Giannis is not one of the fastest players in the league, slightly above league average. Giannis is strong, but he's not even close to the strongest player in the league. He has improved every single year. He has gone from a guy who his rookie season looked like he was totally out of sorts to a league MVP, to a guy who's about to win another league MVP by enhancing his skill, by working on his skill, and by proving how wildly skilled he is. People said, Vinny, this weekend, oh, Giannis responded to Harden's comments by dropping 41, 20, and 6. The big difference in that game was it was actually close, so he had to play a lot of minutes. He played 36 minutes. On the year, he's averaging 35, 16, and 7 per 36 minutes. He's just usually has his work done in 30 minutes. So it wasn't even that big of a game for him. So Giannis is an exceptional player, arguably the best player in the league. I understand why Harden's sick of people taking shots at him, but saying Giannis has no skill and he just runs and go, runs up and down the court is an absurdity to me. Well, can we give a round of applause for two players actually admitting their truths and this not being buddy ball anymore? <laughs> like, that's the part that I appreciate. You like this. I love this. Yeah. We will never see these two in the finals against each other because Houston will never get there. Oh, wow. But <laughs> on a level, a and, I, and I will, here's the thing. James Harden is not criticized because of what he's not. He's criticized because of how he came up short in critical closeout games through his history in Oklahoma City and in Houston, plus the style in which he plays, which lends itself to a guy producing the way that he produces. So I agree with you basically on the premise of what you're saying, but people don't criticize him just to criticize him. When you're a historic player, and James Harden is a historic player, he's come up short many more times than anybody this side of Carl Malone, okay? And when you're talking about Giannis, I will say this. There is no player, I think, in the history of this league, at least in modern history, that has made so many jumps in a short period of time. He became, he went from a player who's a lottery pick but couldn't play. He turned into a rotation player. He turned into a starter. He turned into a point guard when Jason Kidd was his coach. And then he turned into an MVP. He's and now, answered every question along the way. And now he should be the unanimous MVP. Like, you can make an argument that there should be nobody else that gets first place votes this season. You what? can. 
absolutely, if his team is going to win 70 games and he's the best defensive player in basketball and he's producing 30, 14, and 6 on a team with no other star, you don't he think could LeBron be a you know, one vote? I said he should, I said he could be, he should be. Like, if you had a vote, you, you think he, he has, has a vote? I have a vote. Have a vote. Have yes, I have a vote. He's been trying to buy that vote for yeah. two years now. Yeah, he, I mean, I, I think... He's I, sold the vote. I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think he's going to come... I, I think he'll come close to being unanimous MVP, and it'll be perfect. And I know we're going to talk about LeBron later. LeBron, once upon a time, against 71 team of the unanimous MVP, beat him in the finals. Now he'll get to do that part, too. But can I say one thing real quick, Wilds? The, the idea that... I, I heard what Vinny said, and this is one of the narratives. Oh, it's nice that guys are now, but you know, not everyone's all buddy-buddy. This revisionist history of what the NBA once was, I'm so sick of it. You're from Detroit, right? Absolutely. Isaiah and Magic literally kissed before games, right? And then they oh. elbowed each other in the okay, face yeah, yeah, during listen, the same because game. Guys, because guys were dirtier, that's different. They, they did kiss, though, right? And Chuck and MJ gambled and golfed together and then battled in the finals. This idea that we're in a new era of guys being friendly, the older players say it because it, it glorifies their history. With the NBA guys have always but, been friendly with NBA guys with rare exceptions. But this is these are two guys. Harden thinks he should have last year's MVP. He thinks Giannis should have zero and that he should have three or four. And he's staring at a world where Giannis is about to have two and he has one and it bothers him. It's just a bad take. It's saying Shaq wasn't skilled. Shaq was wildly skilled, particularly Orlando and early LA Shaq. People just see the physical domination and think that's the whole story there. Do you think that Gian this is also not a feud? Giannis is not firing back at Harden. Giannis is just out playing. We have Do you this want him to? No, we, we have the sound. Can we roll the sound of Giannis and in response to Harden's comments about him? He hasn't been back and forth. Like, I'm, I'm not that type of guy. I've never tried to take stabs on some, somebody. Um, maybe sometimes I uh, might come out like that, but I'm definitely not. I'm just trying to do my job, which is win games and go back home to my family and my kids. Like, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, if that's what he believes, that's what he believes. So if that's a war of the words, that's the worst war I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, Giannis got caught up in the moment joking with Shaq and those guys. Shaq right. started it saying he doesn't want Harden, he wants a guy who will pass, and Giannis went along with it in the All-Star draft. I think the more noteworthy thing is that James Harden finally said enough's enough. Like, I think whomever said something about him, Harden would have found a way to shoot an arrow. To me, it's silly that he shot an arrow at Giannis, who's not only one of the most likable players in the league, but his commentary is absurd. You can't, you, here's the thing, you can't say that. And, and I talked to Giannis before the start of the season, asking him about the whole MVP controversy. And he said, look, I'll never say that I'm a better player than James Harden. He can say that, his people can say that, I won't say that. He's always taken the high road, but Giannis is one of those guys who is honest, who he'll answer whatever the question is. And I don't think he took any unfair shots at James Harden. He was, it was a lighthearted atmosphere. But James Harden is a guy who, you said, feels disrespected by his peers who feel like, hey, if I controlled these possessions, if I played in this system, I would produce the same way this guy has. Yeah, and they're all wrong, by the way. All those guys are wrong, but I, but he, the, the disrespect is still there. So like, is this something or nothing? Is this going to turn into something? Only if they meet in the finals. That's and it. And they only play not. twice this year because they're not going to meet in the finals. I'm going to say it's a strong nothing. Well, they, strong nothing. Okay. Strong nothing. Okay, for, for the idea that just because Vinny has a blood feud with the Rockets <laughs> and the whole Of course I do. Of course that I do. They, that, they, that they're drawing dead for the finals. Right now, they're the, in my mind, the second most likely team to make the finals out of the West. In everyone's mind, the third best at worst. They have been on fire. But you don't since see them in the finals, Nick. You, we're you want them in the finals? We don't see, hold on, say it again. Do you see the Rockets in the finals? No, I think the Lakers are going to make okay, the finals. Okay, what are we talking about? Third? Because the, the idea that we, it's do, not do, happening. do you think Milwaukee's going to make the finals? Yes. Okay, so half the equation's there. The idea that we couldn't, that this is like. Like you it, can't envision that This is a feud between Harden and Trey Young, where we know they're not going to meet in the finals is foolishness. The Rockets are, abs we absolutely have a chance to see this in the NBA finals. I don't think it's the most likely outcome, but Vinny to just dismiss it and say the Rockets.